Hello, my name is Dr. Yash Shargod Bole. I am a consultant urologist, andrologist and a reconstructive urological surgeon. So I have been practicing say, in the field of urology for the past one year. I also happen to be the director of Dr. Gold Bole's heart care hospital, Thane. Now, today's discussion, we will be discussing basic, most commonest causes for which a patient comes to the urology OPD. Sabse commonest cause is stones, yani pishap ki patri. So ye, during this discussion, we will be discussing what are the causes, what are the signs, symptoms, and what is the basic overline of treatment. So kidney stones form a basically out of a simple factual process, and that is first and foremost the most commonest in India is dehydration. Am Bharat mein rehte hai, which is a tropical country, we sweat a lot, which we call nonsense loss of fluid. Therefore, our urine is extremely concentrated. Which is concentrated urine hoti hai, that forms one of the most perfect substrates for stone formations, wherein the stone crystals then aggregate, crystallize, and get bigger with time. Ek dusra cause hai obstruction. Yani koi rukawat hai pishab ke raste mein, to bhi stones ho sakte hai. Rarely infections, but most commonly metabolic components which are often overlooked. Yani patient ke agar kidney mein koi plaque ho, Randall plaque jaise ham kehte hai. Sp- uh, focuses where calcium may deposit, where patient may be consuming a high salt diet or whether they may be consuming shell cal or your calcium uh, supplements on a large scale. These are the most commonest causes for stones. The most common and the most well recognized symptom of a stone is abdominal pain. Patient always comes to the OPD and says, Sir, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Just as stone goes down, the pain goes down a little bit down. And in male, males, the most common uh, uh, you can say presentation is pain on the testes if the stone is lodged at the lowermost part of the ureter. Other than that, some other symptoms are nausea and vomiting, which are also quite common. You should seek urgent care if you have fever along with your pain, because that means that the stone has caused obstruction and subsequently infection. So that requires a bit more urgent care. So first of all, this is a multidisciplinary approach requiring a holistic care. If a patient has stones which are not causing any obstruction, they are small multiple stones or a single small stone, we can give the patient watchful waiting and observation. We patient say that we have to do sonography in the year. Because once a stone former, always a stone former. So we can ask them to increase their dietary intake of vitamin C, citrate. Citric acid in urine prevents stones from getting bigger. We can ask them to increase their hydration so that the solute load in the urine reduces. We can correct any metabolic abnormalities which we may encounter during their basic workup. These are some of the non-surgical aspects. If there is an obstructive stone, we can classify whether the patient will require medical expulsion therapy or whether the patient may be a candidate for surgical intervention. I always say prevention is better than cure. I always ask my patients to have a good amount of fluid intake. Now, some people say 5 liters, 4 liters, absolutely unnecessary. The more fluid intake you have, the more electrolytes will be lost through urine. So, as a general solution, I say 2, 2.5 to 3 liters is more than enough. Little more can be considered if you have an outdoor job or if you are having a lot of uh, water loss through sweat. But excess water intake is not beneficial. Other than that, I advise people to have foods which are low in preservatives. Don't use indiscriminate calcium ki golia. Aate jate calcium ki golia khana is a sure shot way of getting kidney stones at an earlier age. Secondly, a lot of our population consumes meat, which is absolutely fine. We never say stop consuming meat. Space it out once a week, once in two weeks is an acceptable one. But having a large amount of meat every day is also a lithogenic risk factor. I also ask patients to stay away from all carbonated drinks, sweets, soft sweeteners, sodas, all the likes. Basically, keep your diet as less western as possible and you will see that you, you will be free from this ailment. And of course, a healthy dose of vitamin C is always recommended. So starting your day with a lemon juice without sugar is the best way to start it. So in the form of medical treatments, we have alpha blocker therapy as well as diuretic therapy, wherein we produce, where we increase the kidney's production of urine, where we in, reduce the outflow obstruction so that the stone may pass. Again, as I have mentioned that these have their limitations and sometimes may have to be abandoned for a surgical approach. Now, when considering surgical approach, three things have to be kept in mind. First, location of the stone, status of the patient and which modality will serve the patient the best. So, if it is a lower ureteric stone, we perform a ureteroscopic lithotripsy or a URSL. Where we again, there is no chirfad, there is no involved, we go to the 
स्टोन को देखते हैं स्टोन को विजुअलाइज करके तोड़ के चूरा करके निकालते हैं और उसके बदले चूरा निकल अच्छे से निकले और वहां की सूजन उतरे इसलिए हम एक स्टेंट वहां लगाते हैं सो ये होती है यू थेरेपी उसके बाद हम आर करके एक नवीन नई थेरेपी है विच वी एडवाइज आर में हम एक फ्लेक्सिबल स्कोप के साथ पूरे किडनी के अंदर तक जा सकते हैं पर आर के लिमिटेशन होते हैं स्टोन के साइज ज्यादा बड़े स्टोन साइज में हम आर नहीं कर सकते गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर दीज केसेस जहां स्टोन ज्यादा बड़ा हो या स्टोन बर्डन ज्यादा हो इज अ पीसीएनएल विच इज पर क्यूटेन इज नेफ्रोलिटोटेपी ऑल दो द साइड इफेक्ट इज पेशेंट में हैव टू स्टे लॉन्गर इन द हॉस्पिटल द किडनी इज पंक्चर्ड इट ऑफर्स अ सोल्यूशन फॉर बिगर स्टोन विद मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो बेस्ट वे टू अवॉइड कंज्यूम अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूड कीप योर डाइट एज बेसिक एज पॉसिबल स्टे अवे फ्रॉम प्रिजर्वेटिव हैव अल्दी एक्सरसाइज रूटीन शेड्यूल्ड 